um, yeah, you start to hear this uh, music play, which is gives basically everyone pause because pianos are not normal instruments on the area I'm taking. No. Um, uh, but uh, just backstory: uh, Trichus was a um, Telvinian elf, and he used to play. So he brought it. He brought one with him um, <laughs> after he heard the call. Um, and as you peek around the corner into like the the other side, um, you see Jasper sitting there playing it. Sort of like how you fidget with your wand. It's just something he's doing right now. Are you coming with me anywhere, or are you just... There is nothing to investigate! <laughs> Everything is fine! Alright then. Oh, the jolly parrot fish, she was a magic thing! Drag, oh, drag, the drag, drag, fish, drag. A magic ring! The song finishes, and um, uh, Trichus comes in and, uh, you know, sort of nods approvingly at him, um, and then, you know, turns to you and says, uh, As I said, the boat will be here tomorrow at noon, and we'll ship you to Lanador um, with priority. I oh, thank you. And, uh... Quite generous. Someone will be waiting to talk to you there. Someone? They were non-specific. A dock annoying. worker? A maid? Park maid? I hope someone of authority. So, as am I. So not the jailer. something to jail for? Well, you don't seem to trust me very much. You broke through the teleportation Exactly, wars. that's why they're not going to go easy on me. Okay, I'm gonna go about my dawdling. I might go up to Jasper. <clears throat> I guess, why not? Okay. Um, he's playing another song, but it sounds... Like, it's, it's very much... A... It's a duet. Or at the very least, it's not meant to be played just by piano. So, have you ever been here before? Uh, this place didn't exist when I was alive. So, you play? Yes, my, um... My, my, my wife was quite musical. I learned to impress her, mostly just frustrated her. Well, I could see how. You know, learning curves are pretty steep, and you're only human. Aren't you half human? Yes, I said only. Play like you're not even thinking about it. Like you write. He's a scribe. How would you know? I thought I thought he wrote something. From your handwriting on the fucking shit we saw. Oh. Um, take a compliment, Jasper. <laughs> Jasper the needlessly bitchy. Listen, man. <laughs> 4,000 years in the future. For 5,000 years have I slumbered. And now I come back and there's a giant fucking divot out of the planet. What did you do <laughs> while I was gone? <laughs> so, this is a very... Comfy place. Is all of the area like this? Yeah, most of it's a bit cleaner and much more crowded. I prefer this. Lanador is where we're going tomorrow, and it is one of the most densely populated cities on the Ron. <clears throat> really? Are there that Even many with the extra dimensional spaces. There are that many Lemurians? Uh, those who are promising enough and have enough money like to send their apprentices here. Hmm. Some try to come themselves, but usually past a certain age, humans really can't wrap their mind around how to build a spell from the ground up again. Don't go down the dark alleys. It's 
very expensive to get a Telvimbrian mage to surgically remove gills from your stomach. I will take that under advisement, Master Cavernheart. There are no mysteries to investigate in Lemuria! He stops playing and um, gets up and... I contributed. <coughs> talks under his breath to some people and they, they're very curt with him, obviously, because he's just a human. <laughs> um, and he goes off to the kitchen and comes back uh, a couple minutes later uh, with this, uh, this bubbling, effervescent uh, drink that has, like, some crushed leaves and ice in it. And um, he hands it to um, Dancil and says, This might make you feel better? That is a mojito de los magisterios! I am not drinking it! I want to keep my pants on! I'm wearing pants, and I will keep doing so. They didn't have the proper rum, so it's much weaker. This is Lemuria. Any intoxication is bound to end with surgery. Open your mouth, and I'm going to have to pour it down it. Beret on the face. Or we'll Beret use the method the that Jasper invented Beret of tasting it face. through your asshole. Beret on the face. Here. <laughs> okay, I have the mojito. Um, actually, let me try something else first. <laughs> but um, this is great. Drink it, Dancer! There are no mysteries! You are now calm as shit. How long this is going to last is up for debate. <laughs> It'll last exactly as long as Sam lets it. Just has the headband of seriousness. You are in a zen state, and nothing can bother you. There, was, there really are now no mysteries here, because you, you just can't give a fuck. Okay, I was I'm going gonna, upstairs. I was gonna investigate some mysteries, but then I got high. I'm pretty much just gonna sit there, and maybe drool a little bit. Yeah, I think I'll drool in character. I'm gonna try not to do that out of character. Uh, the night has progressed, nothing much else has happened. Most people are are doing the Lemurian thing of politely ignoring your entire existence. Um, uh, you know, dinner comes and goes, and it's actually later in the night, um, and you're, you know, about to go to uh, bed, or have already been on bed and just, like, got to take a piss or something. Mm -hmm. Um, and you hear the song that you heard before, the first one that Jasper played. Um, only this time he... it's accompanied. The song is. Um, so, yeah, you just hear that when you're on your way back to bed, what do you do? Well, contrary to what my friend may say, there are some mysteries. And I like a good mystery as much as anyone. I just don't go into convulsions about it. So, yeah, I'm gonna tiptoe down and see what's up. Um, Plus, I'm quite interested in this guy. You go downstairs to the, the jaunty, but at the same time haunting violin strings. And uh, as you round the corner, you see Jasper, much like he was, just not really focusing on the music, just playing it. Um, but behind him, you see, as though it made for mist, um, a figure quite obviously playing the violin, and, you know, their duet goes on, and towards the end, uh, Jasper seems to wake up from the sort of fugue that he was in, and, and turn around and look at the figure and, and sort of square himself to it. And then his eyes and disposition and his body language just go completely downcast. Figure uh, reaches out and grabs his cheek and pulls it back up, and he 
takes a deep breath and just holds it, and uh, then it dissipates. And he's just there holding his cheek for a while and then goes, Yes, Lady Summerstorm, was there something you wanted? So I take it you learned well enough to please her in the end. We had many years of practice, yeah. Yes. Well, nothing can take those years from you. Or her. I suppose not. I'm sorry if I'm disturbing you. I'll go up to bed. Yes, we do have a big day tomorrow, don't we? He says, um, abruptly getting up and making kind of a racket because fucking flagstones. Uh, have you seen Danzel? He... Snorri. <laughs> and she says, Danzel is in the exact same position with the mojito next to him. <laughs> right, then. I sometimes forget how potent my spells are. I take the mojito. <laughs> is there any left in the mojito? You said the mojito, not the glass. Oh yeah, no, the mojito is basically untouched. And, like, it's not fizzing anymore. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's it's an original mix, Magister's mojito, by the mix master himself. Mix master J. <laughs> I want to get a mojito from Mr. Master J. I'm going to drink it. Okay. Um, it's... Sculp. Despite the fact that the ice has melted, it's still, you know, airy. I can frost it. Oh. Um, um, it's still airy, refreshing, cool, and, um... A pretty decent nightcap. You also feel a little bit more focused. What's in this? Um, mint... Lime, sugar, rum. <laughs> and so you made this? Yes. Uh, Where'd you, you learn bar keeping? In you between possessions, or was that during a possession? It just doesn't seem like your style. Uh, we don't all start out as archmages. Mm. True. We don't all end there either. 